Okay, new day, new game. Mafia Definitive Edition. This is a remaster of Mafia 1, the original, I think it was PS2, was it? Something like that. But a little more, instead of just like updating the graphics, they've read on the whole scenes. I was reading upon it, watching the odd YouTube video on it. Um, a little different today, I'm not using the face cam at all. The whole game is a lot of like cinematics and stuff like that. Also, I don't talk over the cutscenes, as most of you will know. I uh, just wanted to get a new series out there. Hope you'll enjoy. Tommy, Thomas Angelo, Detective Norman. You alone? <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, uh, just a coffee, thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, yeah. Said on the phone, you might have a proposition for me. That's right. Well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Let's hear it. 
How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. But well, I handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail, and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Boss. Yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Christ, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Oh, shit! You don't get to walk away. I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble. Drive. How the hell they know we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just gotta lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? One for now. But there'll be more. Hold tight. I'm gonna try something. Who were those guys? You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. All right, so at least we got a there. GPS. Hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know. It might be okay. Just getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, Cabby. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. How beautiful one of them cinematics at the beginning. City's gorgeous. I wonder how open it is. I don't know. Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. Well, we need to know where we're driving. What's this like a health bar at the bottom or fuel gauge? 
Four of them. Ah, shit. Oh, wow. I know some shortcuts that'll slow them down. I don't care how you do it. Just shake them off. I lost him, didn't I? Not all of them! These guys really don't like it, do they? Sometimes business markets fall out. It happens. Quit gaffing, Tolly. The more he knows, the more chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. I like these little cinematic things. <laughs> you left him in the dirt. We ain't clear yet! Keep driving! More bastards think- Oh, we can open up the map. Uh, ooh, can we make this sharp left? Come round here. Let's have a quick look at the map while we're here. Little Italy, Chinatown. Works Quarter. Uh, North Park. Holy Beach Oakwood. Give me a road for the works program, Ship Mr. Ten. Thank us for this! Three crates down. How many motors were at the exchange? Four. I like the way the car is. Hi, baby. Yeah, no with him, he's gone for more. Sure feels like it. Next time we take more muscle. We should have expected trouble. When the boss hears about this, there'll be hell to pay. Just one car left. We should be able to shake it with this little uh... Oh shit, maybe not. <laughs> Can we make this? to send word out. There's more and more of them. We're not gonna last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. Is that one of them? You turn. All right, it's giving us the GPS. West Harbor so. Bridge, Cabby, fast! Look at the road signs popping up and disappearing. That's a nice little idea. Ah, uh, the bridge is up, ain't it? Oh, we're yeah. making this jump. We can make it. Oh, what shit. What the hell are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. <laughs> Never done that before. I Me neither. Okay, it's a little Italy. Now. Your night's not over. I didn't see this coming. You think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. So, I mean, basically, so far we've got that. Um, uh, he's just going back. He's talking to the cop. He's going back to telling flashbacks. They do something similar in Mafia 3. Okay, we're close. over in front of that bar. Celieri's place. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. 
So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. <sighs> One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. See you around, kid. When I opened the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. All right, chapter complete. I'm going to try and make the first video a little longer than the others. Uh, tend to. When I do full series... It tends to be like 15, 20 minutes of video, maybe 25. But the first one I always try and do a bit longer. Give everyone an idea of what they're getting into. Um, As the likes, I'm not sure how it works. If there's like sign missions and stuff like that, I don't... Unless they like point you into the story, I don't tend to put them in. Uh, but we're going to see how they get on. I'm not sure. One of the guys in work told me that this was a fairly short game. Maybe in comparison to the others, I don't know. But we're going to see how we get on. After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. Can we take... How do we get in? Can we take camp first then? Oh, it's a bit. So where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. Do you know, I was thinking about this before, the radio careful, stations. Please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Speed limiter. Oh, I think I remember this from the second game. And... Um, yeah, the radio stations. Am I going to get monetized? Off. I can't hear myself think. That's yeah, much I, better. I had that problem when I, uh, I produced the UFC videos. So, church. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. Drive carefully and respect the law, okay? So no running over anyone. Yeah, sorry, as I was saying, uh, the UFC videos, I got monetized straight away on them. Not monetized, demonetized, that's the thing. Got a warning straight away. It happened a couple of years ago on um, an old channel of mine that I had. I threw the Red Dead trailer up, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Rockstar the Games. Right. Got to be straight away. Drive on the right. Oh, shit. Sorry. Too much Grand Theft Auto. The fucking bomb. Yeah, Rockstar Games got onto me straight away. By the park. But with UFC 3, at uh, UFC 4, do apologise. Um, uh, Jordan, that, like, did, do you know what you're training your characters and whatnot? What not? That'll be 30 seconds. In the background, and the only tip things. I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure, whatever you say. Man, what a bitch. Find another fair. Better find a new fair. 
I'm going to leave the speed limits on for now. I don't think I'm going to find them over here, am I? Taxi for rent. Ah, it's that one. Oh! Whoops. Looking at me mini map. So you got to make sure we stay on the right hand side of the road. Get in, my friend. Art gallery. Give me there quick. Sure. Quick I can do. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Oh, wow. So we've got Look time, it's there. like crazy taxi. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. You're giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw that before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Yeah, Your busy day is gonna be looking off. at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Oh. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. But until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I can get you. Yeah, I'll turn the speed limits that off. I'm just flicking back to my radar on the bottom right hand corner there. As soon as you see a cop, it's going back on. So, this is all like the prologue, but some prologues and games can go on for like. Fucking hours. Don't mind me, officer. Right, well, we got 30 seconds. We may not make this in time. I don't know whether it matters if we do. Right, so that's what they look like on foot. On the mini map, right? 18 seconds. Let me through. Yeah, we should be good. Ooh, cut this one from the gallery. Thanks, pal. Nice. There's 50 cents. I'll spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Every fan today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. All right, on to the next one. Normally, within games, you get like the rule of three, don't you? Do, look at this hairs. I don't want to run that red light, there's a cop right behind us. Screw it, I'm going. So Lost Heaven, is that the just the district we're in, or is that the, uh, the name of the city? I don't know. Oh boy, you look like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I am drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <clears throat> This city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. I was uh, trying to get around that police officer then. And as soon as I moved, he did. Yeah, the rule of three, as I was saying, in video games, uh, you're bashing like a door down or something. 
three times. Every fucking one. What's the limit? 40. Well, not 35, really. Does it change on different roads? I don't know. Unless I'm, like, in a high-speed chase or something, I'm not breaking it while there's cops around. Or maybe on the timer. There was an option um, for auto drive before in the menus. Or drive something. I think it's maybe skip the cutscene to know the driving part. He first brought that in in Nearly San Andreas. Just up here on, on the corner, please. I think it was after you, maybe you failed the mission so many times. But I'm not going to try and fail anything. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. How you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help in Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. Oh, see ya. I'm out of there. Has he got a stamina bar? I don't know. What out of here? Parkour. So, who are these the guys who we, uh, these are the guys who are chasing the other two guys? Who we helped escape? Is that them? Should I have gone through that shop? I've already figured this out. What the fuck? <laughs> it's glitch. Run, I'm fucking dawdle. What's the green one? Look at this. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou! You got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you gotta say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal, we ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> hey, thanks. At least we could do. Come on. Let's go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri? Yeah. He's going to want to hear about this. chapter complete running man I, I think we can squeeze in one more the chapters seem fairly short don't they all right let's continue what do they call you son thomas Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi. 
That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm going to set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. So smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The bot's finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Look around the bot, okay. Who's the new guy? Cabby, we're helping him out. I, uh, Don Salieri, I'm writing to let you know the joy to hear that you will be attending my, the wedding of my daughter. I'll tell you what I'll do, like I do in most games. Uh, if you want to read that, unless it's a really short one, I'll always leave them on for about five, six seconds if you want to pause it and read it. I read them later on, you see. Alright, Giovanni Romano. He's gonna drive the boss? Find anything good? Nah, you know, nah I... I'm watching you. I hate got sitting it. around. I get it. Got a problem? Easy, Tiger. Says you're not ready to come out on your oh, you're good with Paul. But that don't mean don't you're good with me or oh, anyone else. What do you think I gotta do to... All right. Hello. Oh, cigarette so cards collected. Ah. See. See. Ah, CC. CC. Join Paulie. What was. Oh, yeah, there's something else on the bar here. Prohibition here this day. Yeah, same as always. You want to read it? Pause it. Just let me check down here real quick. I think we're good. Do you know what's that? Uh, I just wanted to say just before we start the cutscene. Do you know the old guy then, like the, the Don's right hand man? I missed his name. Doesn't he look like uh, who's the guy in Red Dead Two? Do you know the the lone shark kind of guy? Oh, his name will come to me soon. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and the Don have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any uh, heavy lifting. Don's we make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. We're grateful for his dough, but we gotta go. Long drive back north. Hey, Strauss. That's the guy's name. I've played that game an absolute fucking ton. But sometimes your mind just goes blank. Bad John of Vincenzo. Ciao, Bali. Oh, she's gonna sing! <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or rods? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick! <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short hairs. <laughs> Good to meet you, Tom. Let me know if Paul gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. 
So just to clarify, we had to go to like an illegal Come weaponsmith to buy a fucking baseball bat. I can't get that. I'm I'll trying to get that over there. Again. All right, so hopefully we get to come back and see what that is. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets interested in her. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Hey, genius! Polly, you can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sh 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 show up, Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said. Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across to, to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I wanna show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. This thing's a tin can! So, is that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you gonna torch? He's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay. As long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through? You want a bottle? Just ask. Keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. I don't want to script the drive uh, to give me the option there in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, intriguing about that guy with the stammer, wasn't it? He couldn't speak, but all of a sudden he could speak. As soon as the guy left the room, so like, is he putting that on, is he? Like a bit of a, a, a cover, so maybe people will feel sorry for him. We're getting on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in a wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Right, so typical Mafia stuff. Uh, they've all got their own little patch. I do like my Mafia films. I'm not... Um, okay, it's close by. Very educated on them, to be fair.
Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Got a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? You see if you get shot. Oh, Chiamani is. I don't like this guy. Okay. Paulie. Go quiet. You know how to go oh, quiet, right? Yeah, like that. Yeah, he's got his main guys. You'll get there someday. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Yeah, and I'm not going to stop sneaking just yet. Over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and shoot them from behind. Good at distracting. Who's the guys at the end of the alley there? Who's the guys? Didn't the men dress so well back the back years ago, back in the nineteen thirties? Real gentlemen. Hey, what the hell are you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? What? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Hey, Sally, you already got guys all over town trying to give a rebel a black eye. And Dino makes you cart the cards? Listen, fella, who are you? You know Dino? Yeah, I know. <laughs> there was just one time when I had the chance to get him. <laughs> nice. Oh, do we need to hide the body? Let's put now let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. Uh, LB for the weapon wheel. Easy. <laughs> uh, I guess we can stop now. sneaking now. <laughs> Chance melee attack. <laughs> well, it'd be good if I hit it, wouldn't it? Nice. Ah, oh, crap! What? Oh, no. Hey, get away from the car! Knock him down, Tom! You got some kind of death wish? Oh, nice. Oh, finishing animations, too. Come on, Tom, quick. There's gonna be more of them. Use a Molotov and let's see some planes. Smack in the middle. Yeah. I love the smell of burning paintwork. Yeah, oh shit. Whole block heard that. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? I'm gonna know where you can. Reports of burning vehicles Nashville. and ghost fire. It's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Old ways are the best way. Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the bulls show. Excuse me, boys. Don't let him get away. Oh, it's a Drive again. Ah, oh, shit. Right into the cops. We tend to solid air these cops. Oh, shit. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. Let's not get them real pissed. Uh, so maybe they've got to be within veins to activate that cutscene. So we got two stand ones at level. What part of stay out of sight wasn't clear? Oh, well, I do apologize, mate. I'm only fucking less than an hour into the game. I just stayed back for whatever reason. Okay, we lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. I well, can't do that on the fucking bridge, can I? There's only one fucking road. All right, enter in the city again, the other side of the city. We should be good. I'm normally okay with these type of missions, actually. They've been doing shit like this since GTA 3 as far as back as Still remember. looking for us. Get the All cars, called off. Oh, nice. Easy. Way good. Let's head back and see the boss. Let's I go see the boss. I thought Silieri had cops on the books. 
Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. That's good to know. So we're like the How lesser feel? of the family. Feel good? Of what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. No time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. Think it's for you? For his life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. Busy days, it's slow days. Had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, still enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by, and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now, and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family, you had to have more connections. Your brother, or your uncle, or... Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made, or you like Carlo, whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. But there's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss... Then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so... Sure you don't got plans. The plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. I'm good with whatever. <laughs> sure you are. All right, I just wanted to let them finish talking, you see. Yeah, as well as not talking over the dialogues, I'm going to try and not talk over or interrupt those, you know, little conversations, because... They won't make the story happy. Get in the car. Into a car. Are we not there? What? Why did I come here? Park the car in the garage. Oh, you're fucking finicky. Alright. I sent you out with dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. A b -b better car with a b -b broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. I'm definitely curious about that guy with the stutter. What was his name? I'll learn the names. I'm terrible with names. I really am. Still with you then? Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead, and all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. 
then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. There's a lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter, Sarah, Maron. All right, chapter complete. This has been Mafia Definitive Edition. I'm going to finish that video there. That was Molotov Party. I'm enjoying this so far. I love a story-driven game. I really like the Mafia-type stuff. Uh, you know what to do if you enjoyed it. You know, like, subscribe, whatever. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter. I'll put the links in the description. Uh, I hope you join me for chapter two. I hope you made it to the end of this one, too. Uh, we're going to see. I do like the flashback stories. You find out, you know, he came from the bottom. He worked his way up. I, I do like that. Be interested to see how he maybe turns against the mob in the end or whatever. A lot like Goodfellas, isn't it? I'm intrigued by the character. I forget his name. I'm terrible for that. Do you know the mechanic guy with the stutter? And as we walked away, he didn't have the stutter, the stammer even. So that's going to be intriguing to me that I want to know about that. Uh, anyway, thank you again, and I'll see you in part two.